welcome. I'll set it for you over here. Where do you want me to put it on the table? Should have left it right there. Well, where do you want me to put it, Aaron? <laughs> put it on the table. Okay. Oh, who wants to do our doggy treat cabinet? Look, it's the second. Oh, well, that's a really small treat. Mommy had to break it. Look at all this, these faces. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Mommy's got to get you some more treats for your calendar. What? I eat all of them. Yeah. Wow, perfect. Have you ever seen five biscuits align more perfectly than that? Are you hungry? Are you ready to eat your breakfast? Okay guys, so I literally have exactly 15 minutes to do my makeup before I need to literally be in the car out of the store. So, um, I got asked to teach three-year-olds this morning at church. Um, with my parents to fill in, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna show you guys like what I do when I'm really in a hurry and I need to like do my makeup and get out the door. So of course I always moisturize, just really quick. I only have like this one dry patch right here, so it's not too bad considering it's winter, but it was like 70 degrees yesterday, so. Plus like just to go to church and work with kids, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation because I can just literally put this anywhere and then blend it out really quick. I even use this sometimes as a concealer on my eyelids, but I will use like a brightening concealer under my eyes. Okay, so once foundation's on, then I'll just use a tiny bit of concealer under my eyes really just to add a little bit of brightness um, and get really up in that inner corner. So that's where I have the most darkness. Just dab a little bit on, don't need a lot. I need like a tiny little brush to get up in my inner corner. So if you have any recommendations for that, I'll leave them down below. I set that concealer is the only thing that I set because my skin's already like dry and I don't need excess powder. So I just literally take it on my sponge and bounce it over my eye area really quickly. And while that foundation kind of sets down before I blend product on top of it, I'll go ahead and do my eyebrows. I hate doing my eyebrows. If you've been watching my channel when I only did makeup, I would say that in like every video. I just don't like, I feel like I just need to get the shape done by a professional and it would be way easier just to like fill it in really quickly. Maybe before I start school, that's something I need to do so I don't have to worry about it. I'm just gonna go in with my butter bronzer. Uh-uh, I gave you water. Don't drink out the toilet, please. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit of Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink. I've been using a darker blush, but sometimes I just want like a lighter, pinkier blush. Not like a mauve, because I've been using a mauve. That um, if you watched yesterday's vlog, I showed you all my like everyday makeup. I love blush, and I know I sometimes can go overboard on it. It just like makes me feel alive when I put that on. Okay, so then. All I do is just put a tiny bit of eyeliner on my upper lash line because it just makes my eyelashes look more full. Ugh, this one is not the one I regularly use, so I'm gonna mess up. I usually use my physician's form. I usually use my physician's formula one, but it is finally run out. I feel like that lasted forever. And then I will put on some mascara and highlight. And that's about it for my quick makeup routine. <laughs> All I really do is just skip eyeshadow because that's like the longest part. I can do my face makeup really quick if I need to. And I'd much rather have a nice looking complexion more than like blended out pretty eyeshadow, but that's just me. Why are you doing Then last but not least is highlight, which I feel like just makes everything like come together and you, you look so much better once you put some highlighter on. I use my Casey Holmes and Smashbox Spotlight Palette. It's like perfect for my skin tone because it doesn't pull gray or too dark on my skin when I turn my head. And that is it. I'll just go dry my hair a little bit, spray this with some setting spray, and put my outfit on and I'm good to go.
and of course the lipstick. But that was it. I'm gonna go get ready and leave. Mm mm mm. Lunch. Hey. <laughs> Yummy. Hey Hickory, are you hungry? Hey guys, so it is the next day. Um, yesterday was Sunday. Sorry, my dogs are playing right here in front of me. Okay, Huckleberry. So yesterday was Sunday and it was completely uneventful and it would have it was just not a ton to vlog. So I'm going to combine um, yesterday and today, which is Monday. So I haven't really done much all day. It's already five o'clock. Um, I did a lot of laundry, folded a lot of laundry and cleaned up all the main areas of the house. So the only thing I haven't done is our master bedroom. And it's because it's, I will show you guys what it looks like right now. It's, it's so bad. We've been so busy since like Wednesday. So it's just like a collection of, excuse me. So it's just like a collection. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is I'm about to completely clean my master bedroom and I wanted to vlog that because I know people like to watch like extreme clean with me. It's really embarrassing how bad our room looks right now, but you know, it's just part of real life and I want to show you guys my real life. So we are about to clean that up and hopefully get it done before Aaron gets home so he doesn't have to worry about it. Oh yeah, I had to bathe all three of the dogs because you want to tell him what you did? He dug like a tunnel into the neighbor's yard so he could play with their dog. Smart. Do you want to get a bath? Another bath? <laughs> you wanna go get a bath? He knows what it means. But anyway, so let's go ahead and see what the master bedroom looks like and get to cleaning it. Okay, so right when you walk in, this is what it looks like. It's just clothes, messy. I had the curtains up because the dogs lay there and they sometimes pull them. And also, they need to be like redone in the wall. But anyway, that's a whole other story. So this is what it's looking like, just messy, like not really dirty, just messy stuff I need to clean up. So I wanna get this done and get this room looking better. So let's go ahead and clean it. Are you gonna help, Hickory? You gonna help, Mommy? Hickory, you gonna help? You wanna help, Mommy? No? Okay, bye. So to end Vlogmas, day three and four, I wanted to just kind of read something um, that I've been doing, like my Bible reading plan for the month of December leading up to Christmas, just to like really, like I said, my previous vlogs just kind of keep me grounded and like remind myself of what the true meaning of Christmas is because it's so easy to get caught up in like 
all the decorations and vlogmas and watching what people haul and like buying stuff that we really don't need. So I just want to read a little bit. It's out of Luke and it's chapter one and I'm going to just start in verse 26 and just read a little bit for you guys. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and the angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God, and you will conceive and give birth to a son. You are called... You are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father's, of his father's David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked. The angel said, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One will be born and called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age and she who said she was unable to conceive in her sixth month. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. And then the angel left her. So that's just a little bit out of Luke chapter one and I'm gonna be reading. Oh my gosh, I agree. Sorry, my dog keeps knocking over my phone because look at how he sits in this chair, like it's his. So I just want to read you guys a little bit because I'm going to be reading a chapter of Luke up until um, Christmas Day because there's 24 chapters. So it'll be right up to like Christmas and it'll just work out perfect and it just gives me something to mindfully do each day. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Vlogmas 3 and 4. I'm looking forward to filming more for you guys and doing some more fun, fun stuff. My mom and I are going to start Christmas shopping soon and then just doing a lot more Christmassy things. I want to do cookies and just a whole bunch of festive activities. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! See me as your enemy, or see me